Anya nga sa'yo. Ganun pala. Anya nga sa'yo. Ah, sige na, doon ka na. Doon ka na. <laughs> Teka lang, mali, mali. Doon pala. Ayan, 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 ayan. ayan. part two of the proper kosher thing. And okay. Uh, so, ito naman, we're going to talk about uh, something about the cultural diamond. and the cultural diamond? So, first of all, I would like to introduce to you kay Wendy Griswold. Is she still alive? Ano bang tanong niya? Buhay pa ba siya? Ano bang tanong niya? Basta, yeah, ano lang kung ano. I-search na lang natin. I-search na lang yun kung buhay pa siya. Ano? I'm interactive. So, teka lang. Sino ba si Wendy Griswold? Yeah. Siya. Siya. Wendy Griswold, siya kasi nag-provide ng some visual representation para mas madali na ating maitindihan. Ano ba yung relationship ni producer kay audience no? na makikita natin sa next slide? <laughs> please. Ayan. Yes. Please. Ganun pala dapat kasi. So, ano ba to? The cultural diamond. We have the social world, the receiver, the creator, the cultural object. Saan tayo magsisimula dito? Puntahan muna natin yung social world. Pag sinabi natin social world, it's anything, you know, anything really, uh, we, it refers to anything in totality sa community na ginagalawan natin, sa society na meron tayo. Kasi nga, in, in this community, maraming cultural objects na umaakto. Okay? Andito yung lahat. Lahat ng napapansin mo sa paligid mo. Yun. <laughs> now, when we refer now to the cultural object, pag sinabi natin cultural object, Ito, anything na makita mo, for example, teleserye, ano pa ba, ba? Uh, anything na nagpuproduce or, or nag, uh, na, na pag nakita mo, or it could be a painting or music or anything, na pag nakita mo, no, a work of art, and then you make meanings out of it. Receiver, sino si receiver? Si receiver ay tayo? Sino si creator? Creator ay kung sino mang group of specific people, no? Set of people, for example, in a in a newspaper company, yung nagsulat ng balita. Paano niya sinulat yung balita? From what point of view? From uh, anong mga salita yung ginamit niya, no? In language. And iyon. Mga lahat yan ay from the personal point of view ng tao na yan. O kaya film, television show, sino ba yung director, sino ba yung writer, sino ba yung uh, 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 ano to? yung gumawa noon, yun yung nag-acting noon. Sorry, si Netflix, saan papasok? Yung Netflix, cultural object yun. Cultural. cultural object siya. Anything na andoon. Hindi siya creator. Yung creator, yung gumawa ng mga... Netflix. Yung gumawa ng mga series, ah. dun papasok yun. Produced by mga gano'n. Produced by, yes. Kumaga, they see the world in this specific lens. Ganun kasi yun eh. So, ikaw, pinapanood mo, ikaw naman, hindi mo alam, may nangyayari pala sa yung effect, mm. no? Uh, so, yun. Kaya nga, pag tinignan natin, ito yung uh, cultural diamond. So now, let's consider for example a teleserye. No? Pasok. Pasok yung teleserye. Pasok yung <laughs> bakit Bakit naman yun yung example natin? <laughs> so, the show now is a cultural object. It's created by a team of producers, writers, director, actor, actors, and many others. So now, it represents the social world in general from the real social world to the fictional representation of our society or our world. Now, the content of the show is filtered. No? Filtered by what? Or by who? Through the perspective and interest of the people who make it. Ito nga yung specific set of, uh, yung group of people, yung creators sinasabi natin. Now, these creators now are acting in part on, on the perceived desires of the audiences. Kaya nga pansin mo sasabihin nila, ay ang taas-taas ng ratings natin ngayon. Pero tingnan mo, yung ratings na yon, these are uh, parang uh, yung, per, yung, yung perceived desires of their audience, binabasa lang nila sa ratings. Kaya sila, tuturoy lang nila kung paano yung takbo ng storya. Kaya nga, iba, iba diba, pinapahaba pa nila yung mga, mga teleserye. Kasi nga, gusto daw ng tao, based on the ratings. So, kung titignan mo, paano na pinahaba yun? It's filtered by their own social lens. Kung paano tinitingnan yung society. Now, uh, these filters, no? Ano ano to? Yung interest ng creator, the desires of audiences, and this probably disrupt the show's capacity to offer what an accurate reflection of the social world. 
Okay? Kaya nga, kung papansin mo, di ba, pag sinabi natin, telesering ganito, makikita mo yung, ay, parang ganyan yung nangyayari sa totoong buhay. No? Fictional representation. Ah, si, kaya, kaya po minsan, nagkakaroon iba ng conspiracy theory na siguro nga, totoo nga yung mga ganun. Kasi, uh, ayaw lang nila sabihin, ano, pinapakita na lang into films or teleseries or literature. So, bakit ba ganun? Kasi meron tinatawag na, yun, reflection theory. Ano ba reflection theory? It's a sociological approach to literature and other forms of cultural objects by examining the ways that culture reflects the social world. So although this theory has its critics, it nevertheless offers a powerful way of understanding the content of culture. Now, uh, creators, balik pa pa na tayo. <laughs> Sorry na. So, kung titignan natin, yung mga creators, they did not invent out of nothing. Hindi sila gumawa na, na parang out of nothing. They create shows with elements of what? From the social world pa din. So, it's probably part of their memories or uh, if not their memories, probably inspired by other shows or films related to the current situation na meron tayo or probably inspired by the news, mga balita na nangyayari sa paligid. Or probably some aspect of it are creatively invented, no? Mula sa panaginip nila. But for most part of the show or the teleserye, it's a reflection of what? Of the creator's experiences sa mundo and the interest na meron siya. And also, it's influence of the intended audience's desire. Kasi everything na may ginagawa na, na, natin na pinapalabas or binabroadcast, we, we always consider the audience. No? So now, the influence of the audience is probably limited to focus uh, group tests and market research. Kaya nga yung ko, ratings or whatever, parang uh, ano lang. In the early stages of a show, but it grows over time, and as ratings and other mechanisms allow audiences to weigh in. Lalo na ngayon, may social media. No, kaya nga, kung mapapansin mo, yung feedback mechanism na, oh, gusto namin ito, gusto namin ito, gusto namin So now, as audiences watch the show, they may internalize the meanings they make from it. Ito, yung meanings na to, hindi ito uh, parang, uh, hindi ko naman sabi yung consider ni creator, but some of the meanings are unintended, no? unintentional, at ito ay because na yung meaning making process ni receiver so not the meanings the creators infusing to the show but the meanings made by the audience itself, themselves number one idealization, yan yung nangyayari pagka nanonood ka o nagbabasa o nakikinig ng music or what, bigla bigla ma marilize mo may ma idealize mo na sana ganun din yung buhay ko, sana Ako na lang yon. Sana ganun din, kumaga, ganun din ako. Ano, ganun din itsura ko or what. Na, na idealize mo na na what if, no? What if ganun ka. Kaya nga pa, parang sa part ng iyong uh, ideal self na pupunta yon, ano? Now, next. Ito, kung hindi an idealization nangyari sa iyo, identification din nangyayari. Paano identification? Uy, parang ganun ang nangyayari sa buhay ko ngayon. Uy, parang ganun yung uh, status uh, uh, status ko. So, anong, anong gagawin mo? Because you identify, sometimes you try to do whatever yung, yung ginagawa ng character doon sa film or literature or sa song. Kaya nga, kung ganun naging decision nila, what if ganun lang din gawin ko? Na-identify mo na yung sarili mo. Na, na oy ako yun. So, ito pala kailangan kong gawin. May gano'n, ano? May gano'ng feeling. Now, I think that's the last one, ano? Tingnan nga natin. <laughs> Nawala na. <laughs> Wala na. Wala na ba? Wala. Isa pa? Oh. Wala na nga. So now, uh, if if we try to look at it, you know, the audience now has a limited tools of for this mini-making work, you know, okay? or mini-making processes. At ito yung sinasabi ni Ann Swidler na meron tayong toolkit sa pagbibigay ng mga, mga cultural toolkit, ano, mini-making. So, if Swidler's notion is correct, we, we draw on past cultural experiences to construct meaning and make choices in new situations. Ayun! Ayun pala eh. Ask me anything daw. No? 
So, kaya nga, you, you try to ask yourself, no? How are you affected by this cultural industry or commercial industry? Anyong nga, see yo! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>